Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day. I've just woken up and it's 1am. I think I'm getting... 1pm. <laughs> um, my throat really hurts. I think I caught a cold in Oslo yesterday. I've never woken up this late for like... I don't, I don't even know when I... Like, I don't wake up this late. I don't know what I'm saying. I have so much to do today. Which involves packing again. Oh, my battery's low. Did this not charge yesterday? Um, okay. I'll come back to you guys in a bit. <laughs> Guys, I'm not showing you my face actually because my skin is disgusting. I feel hungover and it is, this is the time, feeling the time. Um, I'm having a nap till five o'clock. So, like 12 minutes. I feel hungover today when I wasn't drinking. And then my, oh, I have a sore throat. Okay, it's been hours since you last saw me in bed. I think that's when Jess last vlogged me. But we're now with Serena. And, oh my God, we packed again to go to Leicester. And oh, we've taken, I've taken all, all of our Christmas presents that we've bought so far and wrapping paper to wrap them there tomorrow. We're going to my grandparents' house. She knows that me and Jess are coming, but she doesn't know that Serena's coming to surprise oh, them. <laughs> Once again, we did this last vlogmas as well. Yeah. She's only there for the night, so she's got her train booked back to London tomorrow. And then me and Jess are going to Manchester tomorrow because he's working from there. So that's basically the plan. But tonight, I think we're going to put the Christmas tree up, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> we're leaving like an hour later than planned because I had problems with this today's Vlogmas video. Some copyright issues. So I had to re-edit, save and upload it and do all that sort of jazz. <clears throat> but it's done now. And we're going to grab some food from the services because we are all starving. It's coming up to 8 o'clock. And my grand's made dinner for us at home, so wish us luck. <laughs> She's actually going to kill us. But, so we're going to have to eat like light twice <laughs> and just split dinner over like four hours. <laughs> and hopefully there's not too much traffic either because it's been raining. But yeah, that's the plan for today. We got a feast from Burger King. Just got KFC. And you got us a corn on the cob each from KFC. It's there. Like the best corn on the cob in the world. It's super soft. Serena and I both got a veggie burger meal, a kids one each. We got onion rings, chili cheese bites, and mac and cheese bites. Oh, so exciting. Right, we've divided it all up. We have two onion rings each. I don't know which one's which, but mac and cheese bites, chili cheese bites, two each. Chips, kids, veggie burger. And, oh, so excited for this. It's 3.30 in the morning. Serena and I are gonna put up the Christmas tree while everyone's asleep and maybe decorate it. We haven't decided, we'll see how we go. at 3am we haven't finished decorating it we we're just completely shattered my grand's calling us for lunch so we're gonna go for lunch and then we're gonna finish decorating the tree and head out so i'll take you with me Sleep with Santa's song? Yeah. Well, we all have, because you just know you it's just quite that. easy. Yeah. yeah, I told her how to work it out because we're doing Secret Santa amongst like the cousins, and there's only six of us. So I said to my mum, make sure me and Jas, my sister and her fiance, and Serena and Anusha don't have each other. And so you know that when you have a pair, they're not going to have you back because then the third lot of people won't be buying for each other. Yeah. 
and so yeah anyway we figured it out so he's i still need to like top up on my secret santa gift because i've bought it all but i'm just not happy with it so i'm going to swap one of the presents out and hopefully tk maxx will have exactly what i'm looking for but right now we're sitting in the car because just has gone to the barbers and in fact i need to go to the post office and i think there is one further up so i might just do that while we're here because it's free parking anyway this is what i love about leicester and like this is what's really annoying about london you can just literally go anywhere and just park literally wherever you want a few weeks ago just and i went out for dinner with my friend and her boyfriend in leicester i say a few weeks ago it's like yeah about a month before we went to kenya and we went to a restaurant on belgrave road and he, her boyfriend who's lived in leicester his entire life was saying do you know what you can park on double yellows you can park on the pavement you just do whatever you want like no one is going to say shit to you and that's actually how it was when i used to live here but obviously then i moved to london and i lived in london i still live in london but i've lived there for so many years that you kind of forget you think no surely like the law has changed or the rules have changed but he's like no you're just too used to living in london just do whatever you want park like halfway sticking out onto the road nobody will say anything like that's just the great thing about leicester <laughs> It's a bit annoying for other drivers, but like it's great if you're in a hurry. Who's like just pull up on the pavement? Anyway, this was a really boring chat. <laughs> I came on here to talk about Christmas music because we've been listening to it constantly, and I was just saying that. Do you know what? Like Mariah Carey, "All I Want for Christmas" was like the Christmas song of the '90s, and then Wham! "Last Christmas" was the Christmas song of the '80s, and I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, "Driving Home for Christmas" was the Christmas song of the '70s, and I was like, it just goes to prove that like newer music is actually really shit because the last great Christmas song that went viral or whatever everyone's looking at me vlogging um, the last christmas song that went viral was mariah carey and there's been nothing since like the 90s i guess also I have a question for you guys what is this decade called and next decade because there's obviously the 80s 90s the noughties <clears throat> what's 2010 onwards called and then next year what's 2020 onwards called it's not the 20s that's the 1920s I just said, we just don't know what the decade's it's, called, yeah. right? We just couldn't it's figure it out. Current, yeah, I don't know. It's called what, sorry? Like current music, right? Yeah. yeah but there's just no name for it that we can yeah. think of. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Just just dropped Serena and I off to the shops because like the traffic was insane. Yeah. And it is so great being here with her because she gets student discount everywhere. It's <laughs> perfect. We've got like about an hour to try and like sort all of our secret Santa stuff out, buy as many presents as possible. So let's shop <laughs> shopping for myself in top shop as per usual i only ever look at their sales stuff when it comes to earrings i can't decide if these are a little bit too like indiany <laughs> um these i adore but i'm not sure they actually are in the sale because a lot of them weren't priced as three pounds this pair was oh there and this i don't know how much they are but I just think these are too small for me because I prefer like really big studs but I want some everyday earrings so I want to take these to the till and hopefully get a student discount on them as well while Serena's with me. <laughs> Serena is the queen of jeans and two seconds ago she's like I'm waiting for Boxing Day to buy myself stuff. They do look really nice. They're mum jeans aren't they? Yeah. But do you they think look... like it's going to look really so I roll them up too much? No, I think they look great because I don't think I don't think it will and you can always get them cut and then roll them up. And then even if they're not cut straight, you won't really tell, yeah. yeah. You made the decision. <laughs> <laughs> I've done. I've got everything. I think I've ticked everyone off my Christmas list. I could get a little something extra for my gran. Why are there no lights here? <laughs> TK Maxx was just amazing. And so was outfit. Yeah. So we're so happy. She's got one more thing that her dad's going to pick up for her. Mm -hmm. And now we're just waiting for Jazz to pick us up. And I think we might be a while. Should we grab a Starbs? Yeah. I'm just Rina got me a coffee. Thanks, Rina. Cheers. <laughs> this is the gingerbread latte. I think I've had this before, but I can't remember. I've got to go for something festive, although I'm dying for a wee. Oh, she's getting ready to leave. It's so emotional. <laughs> I'm exhausted today. I've just dropped Serena off to the station. Um, she was really early. I think my gran was supposed to drop her and then we still left at the same time even though I obviously drive faster than my gran. Um, so she was extra early and she still isn't on the train yet and I'm back home. It's like a 
about a 20, 25 minute drive to the train station from my grand's house. I'm gonna wrap a few presents while Jazz finishes up some work and then we're gonna pack up and head to Manchester and it is already quarter past seven, so hopefully I'm done in like 15 minutes. So yeah, let's do this. loads of presents and hidden them under the tree but we're running really late and my battery died so I can't really show you properly there you go this is the best sandwich ever like they have more of them at Christmas but they do them all year round it's pretty much the only pre-packaged sandwich that I like I've been craving it for ages so I finally grabbed one on the way and I got my first like hot chocolate of the year it's a Costa Irish velvet so it's like coffee flavored hot chocolate it does normally have cream but I obviously had it without the cream what'd you get this one. Super water. He gets anything with vitamins on it. Vitamins. I feel refreshed. Anyway, we, we're on our way to Manchester and we have a long ass way to go. We've just arrived to our hotel in Manchester. I'm going to keep this hotel room tour very short and sweet because my battery is super low and it is like almost half 11. This is the room we've just checked into but we're kind of hanging around because it really smells of damp in here. So hopefully the receptionist is going to call back and see if we can swap rooms but this is the room. I'm actually going to end this vlog here because I look like crap and it's half 11 we're both exhausted. So hopefully we change rooms or figure out what we're doing soon. Then we can go to bed. Um, so I will see you tomorrow with another vlogmas video. But I just thought I'd let you know that we made it to Manchester safe and sound. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with vlogmas day. I've lost count. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye.